We see many people investing in mutual funds these days. We also hear conversations about these funds these days. And rightfully so. Everybody wants to be financially independent. But are they doing it right? Successful mutual fund investing calls for methodical, step-by-step -step and long-term thinking. This Independence Day, let's find out how many investors are truly on the path to financial independence. What is the best approach towards returns while investing? So go for options that promise maximum returns because slow is boring. Switch every now and then to stay in the highest performing fund. A steady progress, so consistent risk adjusted returns for the long term. Taking many bets, some will come off and you will be even. I think take many bets, so some will come off and you will be even. The option that gives you maximum return because slow is very boring for me. Switch every now and then to stay in highest performing fund. Take many bets, some will come off and you'll be even. Switch every now and then in a highest performing fund. Go for option that promise maximum return as slow is boring. Most people are choosing it wrong. Aim for consistent returns with robust risk management. Instead, running after fickle returns that could lead to a fatal mistake. With so many people still getting the basics wrong, India's struggle for financial independence still continues even after 76 years of gaining independence. But thankfully, the number of aware investors is increasing rapidly. A steady progress by consistent risk-adjusted returns for long term. And we should keep progressing firmly on the path to financial independence. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, click on the link below. Nippon India Mutual Fund wishes you Happy Independence Day. Let's renew our struggle for financial independence. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.